and welcome to another edition of Bradford Homestead. Today we're going to be preparing our raised beds for our spring planting. As you can see, we've had a lot of growth over the winter. And this morning I tried to do them by hand, but the ground was still cold, so I used my pitchfork to loosen all of these clumps of grasses. And what I'm going to do is pick up my clumps and I will shake off as much of the soil as I can to clear out these beds. Well, it's been about an hour and I have gotten one, almost two, of our four raised garden beds done. I have a full can full of compost, but unfortunately our tumbler and our bin are completely full, so we might have to build another one. This is our main garden area with our, like I said, four raised beds that we have. Our outdoor wood burning stove to keep us warm because we are always out during the winter. The gutter along the back fence is where I'm going to grow my herbs this year. We tried onions last year but not a single one came up. This is our fifth bed that we have. It's the smallest one but in a couple of weeks my husband's going to build three more raised beds. So he'll show you the process of that and then we'll show you how to prepare them for planting. Well, when I was cleaning up our little small bed here, I found this little guy. Who, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be a carrot. Maybe, yep. A little tiny wanting to be a carrot. Which isn't unusual for plants to volunteer. Except this was where we had planted our greens last year. So I don't know why there was a carrot in here. Well guys, we're getting the yard prepped for spring. Uh, the wife and Briar are uh, thatching the yard out really good. Get all the dead grass and acorns and stuff up. And uh, then I'm going to fertilize it and reseed and let it alone. Let it do its thing. Alright, this is part two of the uh, prepping the uh, raised bed. Um, today we're going to build another bed to go along the back of our house. It gets plenty of sunlight and it'd be a uh, really good spot to grow some lettuce. Uh, honey, what else are we growing? lettuce and spinach. We're doing collard greens in this bed right here. If you can pan over and see the bed. So we're going to have collard greens. We're going to have our uh, lettuce and spinach. This gets a lot of shade in mid-afternoon. So I think it's going to help it. Um, forgive me for the arm. Like I said earlier in the video, I had an incident at work and uh, we're getting this addressed now as we speak. So, um, I'm going to pause the video now and then we're going to start on the um, 
the next raised bed. Um, just so you know, we used all reclaimed wood doing the beds. Um, our neighbor put in a new deck and we saved a couple of boards from there, so that, that's what we're going to use to do this next raised bed. So hang in there and we'll be right back, okay? Alright guys, so after a little collaboration and a meeting of minds, this is four foot by four foot, okay? So it's four foot this way, four foot this way. So this little section right here is probably going to be our lettuce or spinach. Then we're going to build the same exact thing that we have right here attached to this side. So in total, this raised bed is going to be eight foot by four foot. Okay. So instead of showing all the building process, you guys in YouTube land, I'm sure, are pretty knowledgeable in this. So there's no sense in us really going through and showing you how we did it. It's pretty simple. It's very simple. The only thing, because this is reclaimed decking and the uh, boards are real old, I think what I might have to do on the sides and on the ends is put some spikes down so the bed doesn't bulge. Um, but we'll show you that later on in the video if we need to. Okay? Alright, we're out for now. We're going to build the other section and uh, that's pretty much going to be that. We'll set it in place. We'll show you where it's going to go and then we'll do a wrap up. Okay? All right, here's the other half my wife just built. Kind of having a hard time with my arms, so she was gracious enough to do it. What we're going to do is connect these two sections together. Again, this is section number two, and we'll show you the ending result, okay? I'll be right back. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the two pieces connected together. Um, I'm kind of pleased with it. We're going to dig up the grass that's down there, get all the grass out, put some screen along it, keep the gophers out, and uh, then we'll start doing our backfilling it with um, topsoil, good potting soil. So let me try and back up a little bit here. All right, so that little bed right there is going to be our collard greens the one right here. It's going to be our collard greens. This is going to be split in half. So we're going to have like spinach on one side, lettuce on the other. This is all small scale just because we live in a very rural neighborhood. And rural? Not rural. Urban. We live in a very urban neighborhood. My bad. I'm trying to sound all cool and shit. but. Um, so yeah, we'll have this done. This is our potato box. We'll start that the same time we do uh, um, the planting here. We'll start our potatoes. It's our metal shed. We're going to have our neighbor come over, knock this old shed down. It's got a bunch of holes in the roof and stuff. And uh, got a nice um, brick floor in there so we're gonna pull up all, all of the uh, block and stuff and just keep the outside concrete blocks there and we're gonna use that for our zucchini and um, squash so we're gonna get that project going too Here's our other beds. The ones with the hoops, that's going to be our tomatoes. Over here is going to be, what did you say, honey? Bush beans? Bush beans. Bush beans and cucumbers. That gutter that's attached to our fence, that's what we're going to be putting our herbs in this year. So that's all going to be herbs in there. That black container, that's going to have, uh, what did you say? 
lavender in there try and attract some bees to the house. We have an issue here in New Jersey with bees. There just doesn't seem to be enough of them. I'm sure it's like that all over the world, but um, we just had a real bad year last year. No bees. So, this is the bed. I am going to have to pin this on the outside to keep it from bulging out. I think once I get a big load of dirt in there, it's just going to herniate and press its way out. So I'm going to put some stakes along the outsides. Keep it all looking nice. Keep it all tight and so we can use it for years to come. But this is just what we're trying to do to uh, help us out a little financially, you know. Seeds are real cheap and if we can learn to garden and if this stuff works out for us. We made a couple of thousand dollars last year on our garden just selling to our neighbors and stuff and they were all about the uh, heirloom seeds and uh, non-GMO and uh, we don't use fertilizers or pesticides or anything like that. We just rely on really good soil. Talking about soil, let me come over here real quick. I've been uh, working on a little tumbler and it works out pretty good. All of my tapes come off of course, but there's a lot of green stuff in there still that hasn't broke down. But the soil that we have in the bottom is just I mean, fantastic. I don't know if you can see that. But once this stuff all breaks down, it's going to be perfect. And then we have our compost pile. We put it in there for a season. And then everything that's in that little hoop stay right there goes into the barrel. And then we just keep rotating out our soil or our mulch. So, let's get a quick shot of the wife. Hi. Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi. Cold, yeah. It's very cold out today. We uh, we built this raised bed, and it's like uh, I don't know, 38 degrees outside. It's sunny, but it's still pretty chilly. So, anyway, I hope you guys like. Uh, what we're doing. I hope you guys like our channel. If you do, subscribe, like, put a comment if we should do something different or uh, you think we're doing anything wrong. I don't care about negative criticism. It doesn't really affect me. This is just what works for us and what we're doing. Um, but I would really like to hear your input. If you guys think that we could do something better, by all means let us know. Alright? Signing off.